Okay, what we're going to do today is we're going to check out Hilti's 5.1 software update for the PLC 400 and 600 tablet. Let's go ahead and jump right in to get started. I'm going to go to the layout square or tab. And now that I'm in layout, you're going to notice that the three application tiles or boxes have now moved to the left side of the screen. What this is going to do is going to mitigate the accidental button pushes when manipulating the drawing. The next thing we're going to notice is there is a plan north on the upper right hand side of the screen. Again, this is plan north, not geographical north. Hopefully this will help you orientate yourself on the job site. Okay, the next new application feature is going to be around the topic of heights. This is going to be a big favorite for we'll say mechanical contractors, especially concrete contractors that have to do with heights. Uh, and most of the time they're in US feet. And the big application is uh, the height of slab, uh, the height of a footer, as well as maybe top of curb. And in most cases, when they get their drawings, there's a bunch of numbers all over their drawings in the line work with specific locations. For example, in this one, they're all in the 500s. And it looks like mostly building corners, but they have to know the absolute height and they have to verify this in the field with the drawing. In this case, currently, the only way we have our height set up are based on layout points and it's a relative height. And for example, LP1, it has the height of zero feet associated with the coordinate system, but it's telling us, hey, you need to move 543 and 7 eighths of an inch down to get where you need to go. That really doesn't help me as a concrete contractor, is I want to see what I or where I am live relative to my benchmark height that I set. And again, in most cases, it's US feet. So now we have an application or a feature that's called absolute height. We're going to go to the settings and we're going to go to screen and view settings and we're going to scroll down to show absolute height. We're going to turn that on and we're going to push check. And now at the bottom of the screen, I have my absolute height available. So now this is going to be the easiest way to be able to look at my drawing, select a point, and I can look at my absolute height to make sure that matches the height on the drawing for verification purposes. Again, they can do the same thing in the mechanical field when they're doing underground work. In most cases, they just need to go, hey, I need to move up or down five or 10 feet, but this could come in handy if they are using US survey feet based on a benchmark on the job site. Okay, another function that is new is the zoom will no longer zoom in uh, closer than four inches off of the ground inside the drawing. Uh, this is going to prevent from over zooming where we lose orientation or if you've noticed the reticle, if it's zoomed in a lot, it would bounce around uh, because it was so zoomed in. So again, just real simple. I'll zoom in with my fingers and it will stop me eventually so I cannot get lost. Okay, the next new feature has to deal with projects and jobs. So we're going to go ahead and go into the project tile. And I'm going to go ahead and create a new project. And we're going to name this one test. And I'm going to press enter. And we're just going to press enter through this. And I'm going to go ahead and push check. And now you'll notice that the job name starts with job one instead of saying test one. It used to say the project name inside the job, which was a little bit confusing. So hopefully this will help out when you're maybe creating these projects in the office and sharing them with other users of the tool to keep things more organized. The last feature or update we're going to talk about is stationing reports. Um, if you're in a quality control, this one might be for you. What we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go into the draw function. We're going to go ahead and swipe that down. And then at the bottom of the screen, we have reports. So we're going to go ahead and click on reporting. And then we're just going to save this one to the desktop right now. I went ahead and saved this to my USB drive and opened it up on my laptop or desktop computer. Um, you cannot view these Excel files on the tablet itself because it does not have Excel. You can download an Excel viewer if you'd like to, but remember, just make sure you have a USB drive with you if you want to transfer these reports to a desktop. Um, this report now that's generated, uh, it will have each station within that project showing. It's going to have the time, the date, control points used. It'll have deviations, deviations for each control point, and prisms types. So what this does is gives you more data to access 
for your quality control purposes.